Hi, my name is Chris Smith, and in this video, I'll show you a comparison between Sourcegraph Cody and GitHub Copilot. We'll look at code suggestions, inline LLM chat directly within VS Code, as well as embeddings to give the code assistant more context of your specific code, and code assistant quick actions. Check it out. Let's start with code completions. GitHub Copilot is mainly known for this ability. As you type, it predicts what code you'll need next and suggests that in the editor. This is great when it works, but it's primarily informed by the file that you're working on and others that you have open in the editor. And it tends to stumble in certain scenarios like this one with comments or this one with a more complex request. Here I've asked Copilot to improve the variable names for this function and it doesn't really know what to do. Now let's jump in and look at Sourcegraph Cody. Cody also has code completions directly in VS Code. You can lead it with some sort of function name or comment, press tab, and it will complete the code for you. You can also open the command palette and type right angle bracket Cody view suggestions to open up the completions window, which will show you the top three suggestions. And here we can see the first suggestion is actually a better option than the one Copilot suggested. So we just pick the one that we want and copy and paste it into our file. In GitHub Copilot, you really don't have any sort of dialogue. You have the ability to direct the code generation using comments or function names, but you don't have that ability to chat with the AI. And so you often end up going from interacting in the IDE with Copilot and then going to, say, ChatGPT, copying and pasting code back and forth. And it's really not a great user experience. In this example, I've grabbed some React code, pasted it into ChatGPT, waited for a response, scroll up, copy the code, bring it back into VS Code and paste it in. It really makes you think, what if you could have this LLM chat workflow directly in VS Code? And that's exactly what Sourcegraph has done with Cody. For instance, I can ask Cody to give me some ideas for refactoring this current file that I'm working in. Cody responds with 10 different ideas and Cody keeps a sense of context or continuity between questions. So I can just reference point number five in my next instruction and Cody will pick up the context queue and give me more detail on point five and provide specific examples of ways I can improve my code. With the LLM directly in VS Code, all sorts of new possibilities open up. For instance, you can interface with Cody directly in the code while you're writing it or where you're reading it. So you can ask questions directly in the file or give Cody instructions to fix the code. Here I've asked Cody to explain a piece of code that I didn't fully understand. And I can continue the dialogue inline and then I can collapse the inline assistant dialog and see there's a little dialog icon on the left if I want to come back to it. Now let's ask Cody to modify some code. So I'll highlight this section of code and type forward slash fix and give some instructions. For instance, instrumenting my code for some debugging. And we can see that Cody added some console.log statements with various variables from the code section, and we can see the diff of the changes that were made directly in line. GitHub Copilot has a fairly limited sense of context. It will primarily look at the code that you're writing in the file that you're writing it in. They also recently added a feature that looks at neighboring tabs. So if you have multiple files open, Copilot will take some context from those files, but it's not clear exactly what that is. In contrast, Cody can have not just context of the specific file that you're working in, but of your entire code base. You can plug in your GitHub repo directly in the Cody settings and with a request in Discord, Sourcegraph will compute embeddings over your entire code base and use that to give Cody context as you're searching and asking questions or giving instructions. For example, in the bottom left of the Cody chat panel, I can see that Cody is referencing the Sourcegraph GitHub repo and the current file that I'm working in. You can also add private repos and there's more about this on the Cody docs page. So I can ask Cody a more general question about my code base. For instance, how does the Cody VS Code extension work? And we can see that Cody read 16 different files and then proceeds to give step-by-step -step explanations of how the extension works. 
And if I scroll up, I can see which files Cody referenced in its response. So how about let's give Cody another question. Say, where are the recipes, which are sort of quick action that we'll get to in a moment, where are they defined in the code base? And Cody responds, showing that it read through 14 different files and listing the different recipes with a short description of each one. And now you might be wondering, what is a recipe? There are a lot of repetitive tasks that come up while coding that Cody can also help with. For instance, explaining a new code base or generating unit tests or documentation or improving variable names, searching for similar code or making fix ups directly in line. You can explore these at your own pace, but suffice it to say, these are things that GitHub Copilot can't do now. If you wanted to do something like this in Copilot, you might write some sort of instructions into comments with GitHub Copilot, but it's not a great experience. For example, if I ask it to generate documentation, I can take them line by line, but it starts to get repetitive and it's not very in-depth. Similarly, if I ask Copilot to give me some improvements for my variable names, it gives me more generic feedback versus specific feedback in my code. Let's see how Cody handles these tasks. Let's say I want to improve the variable names in this Python app. I can highlight the code that I'm thinking about and go to the recipes section and select improve variable names. This will give me some code that I can copy and paste in with updated variable names, but even better, I can do this in one step by giving some instructions to Cody at the bottom of the code and then clicking the fix up from inline instructions recipe. Now Cody updates the variable names and copies and pastes in the new code in one step. And looking at the git changes, I can see which variables it changed. Next, let's say I want to generate some documentation for this TypeScript file. I can follow the same process, highlight the file, and choose Generate Doc String. Cody then generates some very thorough documentation, which I can copy and paste into my file. Let's say you're new to a code base and you're just trying to understand at a high level what the code is doing and how it relates with other pieces of code. For this, you can use the explain code recipe, just do the same thing, highlight the code and choose explain code, and then look at the step-by-step -step explanation. And lastly, sometimes you need to grab some code from your code base that already functions well and convert it to a different language so that you can use it in a different code base. To solve this problem, you can find the code you want, highlight it, and then select translate to a different language, and then select the language that you want to translate it to. In this example, I'm converting from Python to JavaScript. And here we can see my Python code converted to JavaScript. If you want to look under the hood with Copilot, you can't do it because it's closed source. However, Sourcegraph Cody is open source, so you can go and browse the code on GitHub and submit an issue for something that's not working for you or if you want to contribute a new feature. Sourcegraph also has zero retention on both inputs and outputs with your interactions with Cody. I hope this comparison was helpful for you. If you're interested to check it out, you can try Cody for free by searching for the extension in the VS Code App Store. You can also find more on our docs page and join our Discord where you can hang out with the engineers and other customers. Thanks for watching. You can find more about Cody at docs.sourcegraph.com forward slash Cody. Check it out.